Lord, and somebody said, Amen, glory, hallelujah to the Lamb. How many's ready to eat some food tonight? I'm ready. I don't know about you, but I want that food, hallelujah, and I believe God's got, got some stuff served up on the table tonight that will bless us in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. So let's pray. Father, Lord, we thank you and we praise you once again for the midweek service that we have, and God, I thank you and I praise you for the anointing of your Holy Spirit that leads us, guides us, Father, into all truth in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you and we praise you, God. As the word of God is opened up unto us, Lord, we ask for the illumination and the revelation, Father. Oh God, to drop within our hearts that we have hearing ears and receptive hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my God arise and the enemies of God be scattered in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Greet somebody tonight in the name of the Lord if you haven't already done so praise God alive, alive, alive my, my Jesus, Jesus is alive alive forevermore alive 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 forevermore my Jesus is alive sing hallelujah Battle. 
the Lord. I'm going to sing it one more time. Why don't you just step out of your seat if you would for a few minutes tonight and come on up around the altars. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Precious Jesus, precious Jesus, precious Jesus. I believe, I believe he's, a healer. he's a healer. Yes, he is. He's Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals me. 
that he comes yes, to yes, all yes. who see. Yes, yes, that yes, yes. yes. That he fills us. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Lord, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Yes, yes, yes. I believe in you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my Father, my Father, my Father. Bless the Lamb. Bless the Lamb, bless the Lamb, bless the Lamb of the living God. I believe He's the healer tonight. I believe He's the baptizer in the Holy Spirit tonight. Hallelujah, I believe he's your sanctifier tonight. I believe he's your life, your breath. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. And I believe he's here tonight, listen, to minister to his people as we minister unto him in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we lift up our hands one more time? Lift our hands to the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb and just begin to exalt him and praise his name. Allow the Holy Spirit just to flow down through you tonight. Hallelujah. Forget about yourself and consecrate on Him. Allow Him to just permeate your, the, the heart and the mind in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Oh, my Father, my Father, my Father. My Lord, my Savior, my soon coming King. My God, who is likened unto you? Who is the deliverer of mankind? Who can save like you, God? No one can save but my God. Who is truth but you, Father? Who is a rock save our God? Lord, we put our confidence and we put our trust in you, my Father, and you alone. I bless you. I bless you and I praise you. My Father, my Father, my Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want us to sing one more song, if you would. Amazing love, if you would, please. Bless the Lord forevermore. Oh, his love goes beyond our comprehension tonight, child of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And I say, God, bring us into the fullness of the enlightenment of just the love that you've revealed through the Holy Spirit tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes. Because you were forsaken. Hallelujah. You were condemned. Thank God that I'm free. Thank God that I'm free tonight. Spirit is within me because you died and rose. Again. Yes, he did. Amazing love. How, How can, can it be that you, my king, king would die, die for me? Amazing love. I, I know it's true. It's my, my joy. joy.
has the Spirit of God. The Spirit of the Lord sweeps over our soul. We hunger and thirst for your righteousness, O God. You are holy. You are righteous. You are the anointed one, my God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord. Londara siri kiti bishiko tara satara kiti bishiri katara baso kandi mo satara sandara bokota sarata. Hallelujah. Precious Lord, precious Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus. Fear not at what you'd see, says the Lord. For I say unto you, be not weary in well-doing, for you shall reap if you faint not. For I say unto my children, it is I that is at work within my body, says the Lord. And I say to you, focus your eyes not upon the things of this world, but focus your eyes upon me. For it is I that is working in the church. For I say unto thee, I shall have me a church in this end time dispensation that loves me and desires me more than anything in their life, says the Lord. For even now I say unto thee, I am shifting and I am turning and I am working and moving and putting people in positions where I desire them, says the Lord. So I say to my people, Worry not, be anxious for nothing, my word declares. For I say to you, it is I, I, the one that upholds all things by the word of my power. It's I that changes not, says the Lord. But man has changed and man has shifted. But I have stayed the same, says the Lord God. And I say unto my people, I shall bring them back to the right path. And I shall cause them to walk in the straight and in the narrow, says the Lord. For even now I am causing my church to be, this, be a bride, says the Lord, 
I am setting them up aside and apart that I might work a work within them. For I say to my body, be not weary. Don't fret. Don't fear. Don't let anxiety come against you. Because I say to you, everything that you see happening in this day and in this age, says the Lord, I'm in the midst of it. And I say unto you, I hold, up all, hold all things up with the word of my power. And I even sustain you, says the Lord. For I have held thee in the right hand of my righteousness. And I sec I've secured thee in a secret place, says the Lord. That I might cause thee to shine as the morning star in this crooked and perverse generation. For I will prepare you a bride, says the Lord. For I am he, the Holy One, the True One, the Spotless One. And that as I, says the Lord, that will give thee strength in this last day to bear forth, says the Lord, and to bring forth. And I will move in my people such as I've never moved before. I say unto my children, turn not to the right or to the left, but look unto me, the author and finisher of my faith. And I shall bring this to pass, says the Lord, even now as I speak, I am moving and doing this very thing, for I am in the midst of thee. I say unto you, prepare yourself for persecution, says the Lord. For I say persecution will not come from the outside, but it will come from the inside. Even those that have, have fallen away from me, says the Lord. For I say unto thee, they will make sport of thee, and they will make fun of thee. But I say to you, be thou strong and gird thyself up in my word. Let your, the loins of your mind be girded up, says the Lord. For I shall strengthen thee. And I say unto you, all those that live godly, says the Lord, shall suffer persecution. And I say to you, be of good cheer, says the Lord. For I am with thee, and I will sustain thee in this very hour. For I am the Lord your God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Can we give the Lord a hand, clap of praise tonight in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. I feel so impressed in my heart, folk. Get yourself prepared for persecution, because it's coming to the true church of the living God. Believe me, and I'm talking about persecution, listen, that's going to come from false brethren. That's going to come from, listen, the, 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 the seeker-sensitive type of church. Are you hearing me? It's not going to come from the outside. It's going to come from the inside. It's going to come from those that used to be on fire for God, but they're not on fire for God. And can I tell you something? Listen, they once had the anointing of the Spirit of God, and those that once had the anointing of the Spirit of God, they will always attack the true anointing. Saul lost his anointing. David Listen, was anointed of God. Hallelujah. God anointed David as, as king. What happened to Saul? Saul hunted him down like a dog and tried to persecute him, tried to kill him. Can I tell you something? People know where they're supposed to be in the Lord, but when they rebel against the Lord, listen, opposition against the Lord, they'll come out, listen, with, full, with, with, with all barrels and try to blast you for living a holy and pure and righteous life. Stand anchored, steadfast, and unmovable because God is is God in the midst of us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb forevermore and evermore. Don't be surprised, listen, if they call you religious or legalistic. Because that's the, that's the, 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 the mock word now. Well, you're too legalistic. No, you know what? I just so happen to believe the totality of the Bible. Without holiness, no man will see God. Hallelujah to the Lamb. That's what I believe. Bless the Lord forevermore and evermore. God will have him a church in this last day that loves Jesus. Listen, and wants to separate themselves away from the things of the world in the name of Jesus. I don't want to rub shoulders with the world. Hear me, child of God. I, told, I said Sunday morning or Sunday night, I can't remember. Hallelujah. The, uh, the Bible says to lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust can break through and steal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb. It's less of us and more of God in our hearts and in our lives. And the love of God is compelling me, listen, to live godly 
unto him. Because can I tell you something? It's going to pay great dividends, not only in this life, but the life to come as well. Thank God for his love that has led me to salvation and led you to salvation and is going to lead these to salvation as well in the name of the Lord. Stretch your hand toward this box, if you would. Bless God. Father, thank you for the anointing of the Spirit of God. Lord, that moves upon these loved ones in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we claim them. We stake our claim on them, God. Satan, we bind your power and your hindrance. We bind your evil in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank you, God, for pulling the veil off of their eyes and off of their heart and off their ears that they be able to hear and see and believe with their heart, God, and confess with their mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. Be glorified and be honored in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we praise you for that, God. To you be glorified and you be honored in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord forevermore. I believe that in the name of the Lord. Satan would like to keep them bound in, in, in lies and deception. But can I tell you something? I believe God will release and set them free in accordance to our prayers in the name of the Lord of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah to the Lamb. Boy, he's an awesome God. We need to pray for uh, Lisa Clark uh, sent an email to me and said that she's working with uh, some uh, a girl or a man, I don't know which one it was, but is it a man? Had a tumor on his leg, wasn't it, or something in his leg right next to the main artery in his leg, and it's a cancerous tumor. And uh, they, you know, very, uh, don't know if they could operate on it or not. But uh, possibility that if they operate on it, they could, you know, get that that main artery, and then it end up bleeding to death. So she she asked if we would just pray uh, the body of Christ here, praise the Lord, and just keep this man in in prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah! Can we just pray right now? Hallelujah, Father, Lord, I don't know this man, and I know God. This man, Father, he needs that relationship with you because you relayed God that. Lord, somebody needs to speak to him. And God, we just pray that Lisa would be able to rise up, God, with the boldness of your spirit and be able to speak into this man's life, not only into this man's life, but into his family in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let his whole family be touched by the presence of God Almighty. We ask it, Father, in Jesus' name. Do you be glorified and you be praised and you be honored, Lord, in Jesus' name. To you be glorified, Father, in the name of the Lord. Meg, come on up here. We're going to pray for you as well. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. If the Lord touched Jamie, he can touch you as well in Jesus' name. So we're just believing that. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Praise God. I was telling my wife, I said, these, pe- these, these, these girls got to stop having babies. <laughs> Praise God. So let's just believe tonight, praise God, that that persona is going to be perfect. Everything's going to be perfect in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, God, we release our faith, Lord, in you and your finished work at Calvary, that by his stripes we're healed. We speak directly to this persona, Lord, that it would produce and what it's supposed to produce, God, that it would be made perfect and whole in the name of Jesus. And we live a shatarakatiko satarakata in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you and we praise you as we command it to be subject to the word of the living God, perfecting, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in Jesus' name. And I thank you, God, for the health of this young boy inside of her in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For a healthy little rascal, Father, in Jesus' name. And we thank you. And we praise you for it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We take fear and command it to go in the name of Jesus. Take it far from her, God. Anxiety, take it far from her and let there be a deep, settled peace. Rest upon my daughter, Father, in the name of Jesus. From the top of her head to the toes of her feet. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you, God, that everything's going to be all right in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we speak that blessing in the name of the Lord Jesus. To you be glorified, Father, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How's Chris doing? Is she doing all right? Is she? Or She's still feeling kind of tough. That's what she has. Strep- and I said, how do you feel? And she said, I feel like the. 
Yeah. She had a strep throat, wasn't yeah. it, or something? Yeah, she'd had it so long that the infection was going in the bloodstream. Wow. Praise God. Let's just pray for her. We've been praying for her. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. The, I'm going to ask Chris. Chris, go ahead and pray if you would. Bless you, Lord. Kristen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Father, we just pray for Chris. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let the power of your Holy Spirit let it flow over Chris. Lord, that every area of the that is affected with blood stream, we command it to die in Jesus' name. God, we lose the anointing of the Lord God, we flow forth in the name of Jesus. You be glorified, you be honored, you be blessed. In all of this, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for your grace, Father. In Jesus' name, praise God forevermore. Somebody else have a request tonight while we're up around the altar here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glenn, go ahead. I didn't see your hand. Okay, go ahead. This isn't a healing, but it, you know, the way it is, we, we got problems with our house, and it's only four years old. And then uh, the guy was over today to look at him. Oh, no, no. I'm, we're praying that the warranty takes care of it because <coughs> it's a big expense if it does. Really? And, uh, and if, if they don't take care of it, we're going to have to put the bill on And uh, we're talking about this. Glenn, you give thousands into the ministry. Listen to, and, and you know what? Hallelujah, God has prepared you already ahead of time. Somebody out there, listen, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to come out to the good, believe me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb. So let's just believe that in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and I praise you for the divine favor. Lord God, that has, has already been provided, Lord, in the heavenly of heavenlies, in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you and I praise you, Father. In Jesus' name, whatever the situation is with this house, Lord God, I thank you and I praise you, Father. Lord God, for your favor that rests, Lord God, on, on Glenn and this whole situation in the name of Jesus, for we lay it in the throne room of grace. And God, I thank you and I praise you, Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb. That, Lord, you are Jehovah Jireh, you are the provision in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be glorified in this whole thing, God. And we look for Glenn to give a victory testimony, Father, through it in Jesus' name. To you be glorified and honored in the name of the Lord Jesus. And everybody said amen and amen. Rhonda, now you can. Come on over. Bless the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Jeff, go ahead and help. Father, yes, Lord, we pray right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let the anointing flow, Father. We believe you to touch her. Let this thing go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that it can't stay in the blood-washed, blood washed child of the living God. Yes, give her supernatural strength. Amashatorakata. Ribo sotorata ribo shiko to sarati. Linda boshiliko to rasa rabata rakiti bishiri. Lando rasa tarakata ya soto rabatiata. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody else tonight? Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, God's a good God, isn't He? I said He's a good God. You can be seated. Let me say this before everybody runs out of here. Uh, we got a harvest party coming up next Saturday. It's at Jeremy and Amanda's house. I believe it is uh, right around 5.30 or 6 o'clock in that area. Uh, just a time of fellowship. Get together, cook a hot dog, or uh, just have a, a good time sitting around the fire and fellowshipping with brothers and sisters in the Lord. I'm sure Jeremy, if you don't know where he lives at, uh, he'll make up a flyer to where give you directions where he's at. He's not very far, about three miles from the church here, four at the most. So uh, that's next Saturday, not this Saturday. It'll be about 5.30 or 6 o'clock. So we'll, we'll, we'll bring you up to par on that in the name of Jesus, probably about uh, Saturday, or I'm sorry, Sunday. Amen. Amen, Tom. Praise God. 
That's prophecy there, brother. Go ahead and just take it up, guys. Bless the Lord. Somebody have a victory testimony tonight? You want to just glorify the Lord? Praise God. If not, we've got a little bit of ground to cover tonight. Praise God. I don't know about you, but I'm thankful for the Word of God. I'm thankful not only just for the Word of God, but I'm thankful I'm anchored in the Word of God. Praise the Lord forevermore. I, as I said before, uh, it's not enough just to hear the pastor preach. You've got to be a student of the Word itself. Are you hearing me? In this in time, day and age, we've got to have an understanding and we've got to know the, what thus saith the Lord God, especially as what we've been dealing with, Peter's been dealing with it, uh, Paul deals with it, James deals with it, uh, uh, Jesus dealt with it, false prophets and false teachers and false uh, pastors that stand in behind the pulpits and that cut, uh, have platforms, hear me, to, to minister, the, minister the gospel and much of it that they call faith is really not faith at all, it's just presumption, are you hearing me? And uh, understand something, praise God. We have got to be able to discern what is of God and what isn't of God. Sometimes there's things that sound like God, are you hearing me? But if you, ke if you keep listening, you'll find out it's not l of God. Hear me, if it quacks like a duck, look at me. And waddles like a duck, it's going to be a duck. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. And you'll be able to be able to discern these things. I want to tell you something, when... When you, know, when you have an understanding of the cross of Christ, hear me, and what Jesus did, when I talk about the cross, I'm not talking about that wooden give it or beam, but we're talking about what Jesus did on that. When you have an understanding of that, as I said, like Revelation 6, 7, and 8, I want to tell you something. You'll be able to pick things up and discern so quickly because you can tell if it's either of man or if it's of God. When it veers away from, from the cross and it starts putting the emphasis on I, 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 look at me, it's no, 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 because it's not of the Lord. You see, eyes can't do nothing without God. Hear me. It's the Holy Spirit in me, hallelujah, that gives me the victory. Somebody say amen. I said this Sunday morning, it's not a 12-step program that that you enter into that gives you victory. Matter of fact, when you enter into a 12-step program, understand something. Uh, if, uh, if it's in the realm of Christianity, you're really saying that the cross isn't sufficient. Listen to deliver you and set you free. Stop and think of this a second. And this is where much of the church world is today. Listen, do they really believe that Jesus can save today? Do they really believe that Jesus can heal today? Do they really believe, listen, that Jesus can release and set free, hallelujah, from the bondage of sin? Praise God. I believe, listen, he can do every bit of that. I believe he can do everything that he done in the Word. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. When he walked the shores of the Sea of Galilee, he's still God. Praise the Lord. He's still Jehovah Jireh. He still, listen, our provision. Bless God forevermore. Hallelujah. The Bible says that we're to lean not to our own understanding, but trust in the Lord with all of our heart. Hallelujah. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will bring it to pass. He will bring it to pass. In other words, it's just simple faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did, listen, 2,000 years ago, gets the job done. Praise the Lord forevermore. You know what? We so uh, we try to formulize God, put him in a formula. And I want to tell you something. You cannot put God in a bottle and say this is the way God's going to work. Amen? Because God will break your bottle. Somebody say amen. He'll break your bottle. Bless the Lord. He might move one way one time, and then he might move another way another time. We just got to be confident in the Lord. We might get an answer to prayer, listen, in an immediate response by God when we pray one time, and then the next time you might not get an answer, listen, for months. Somebody say amen. Why does God do that? So that we trust him in all circumstances and in all situations in the name of the Lord. 
Hallelujah. There's a lot of times I said, God, I need an answer now. I need an answer now. And can I tell you something? That answer don't come. And the Lord says, you know what? You're going to have to trust me on this one, son. You're going to have to just take it by faith. Bless the Lord. And we talked about faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You don't see it. You don't feel it. You don't smell it. And you don't hear it. Matter of fact, it looks just the opposite. But you just got to take it by faith. Hallelujah. Praise God. And faith is a vehicle that we drive that will bring us to our destination. Hallelujah. Understand something. You've been born for a purpose to go to a destination. Praise the Lord. And can I tell you something? That destination is heaven. The only way you're going to get to heaven is that we trust in God. Jesus, listen, he hasn't returned for 2,000 years. And there's people that have trusted him all the way up until now thinking that the rapture was going to take place. They thought the rapture was going to take place back, listen, in the apostles' time. But can I tell you something? The scriptures were not fulfilled for, for the rapture to take place, but now they are fulfilled. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we trust in his word despite what we hear, despite what we feel, our see, our sense. Bless the Lord. I just believe he's coming back in the clouds. I believe he's a healer just like that song that we sung. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We just simply believe it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe we've got a whole bunch of believers here tonight in the name of the Lord. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. But uh, uh, Paul's addressing these false prophets, I'm sorry, Peter's addressing these false prophets and teachers and preachers. And believe me, brothers and sisters, they're out there by the scores. Out there by the scores. My daughter was showing me a video of a church that they used to go to that was on fire church. And they went seeker sensitive. And you know what? They're pray playing rock and roll music in this church. Head banging music. Listen in, a, in, a, in a, 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 a church where they're supposed to be worshiping the King of kings and Lord of lords. Let me tell you something. When you leave the cross, listen, the sky's the limit of what the devil will do in that church. Hear me. Hallelujah. Why? Because there's no mooring in that church. And everybody does what they feel right in their own heart. What they feel right in their own heart. And, I, you know, we're going to get into Ezekiel where Ezekiel says, Woe unto those pastor shepherds that lead my flock astray. Woe, uh, man, there's a lot of woes. And I want to tell you something. When I see those woe, woes and they say, them shepherds, are you hearing me? It perks my ears up because judgment is going to come. Believe me, it is going to fall. They might think they're getting away with something at, at the present, but they are not getting away with anything. Are you hearing me? Are we to contend for the faith? Yes, we are to contend for the faith. Will they listen to us? I, very, I doubt it. I doubt if they will. You know why? Because they like what they're doing and they're deceived. Now understand something. Some of these people were on fire for God and had a relationship with God. God didn't change. God stays the same. Hear me. Hallelujah. What changes is the message and the people begin to change. And brother, I want to tell you something. If the preacher preaches the truth, understand something. You're going to have people that are truthful and want the truth. But if the people don't want truth, listen to me, they will be upset and walk away. But understand something here. Hallelujah. I said this while well, the Lord was speaking it through us. God is preparing him an end time church. And we are in that end time church. I didn't say we are the church. But we're a part of that end time church. Understand something. You can go through, through hundreds of churches and never find the presence of the Lord God. Uh, not, no presence of God whatsoever in, those, in the house of God. And want, they might have want, once had the very presence of the Lord inside them. Can I tell you something? The fire can go out in this church just as well. If we step away from the preaching of the cross of Jesus Christ and we step away, listen, from truth and compromise the message of the Lord Jesus Christ, look at me, the Spirit of God will pack his bags and go out the door. And the next thing you've got is nothing but a man's program. Are you hearing me? And we come in, and the sky's the limit of what the devil wants to do. Literally make mockery 
out of the church of the living God. How many know God's not going to let that go on too long? He'll let it go on for a season. God's not willing that any should perish, but that all come to repentance. Hear me. You're, you're seeing people running out the doors, listen, running here, running to and running fro, trying to find somebody to tickle their ears and somebody listen to agree with them in their drinking and their boozing and their partying and what have you. Understand that. And there's churches on every corner that will pat you on the back and say, hey, come on, we'll belly up the bar with you. Yep, that's it. As long as you pay your tithes, that's it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah, I had a person tell me, he said, uh, they said this, I pay my tithes, I go to church, and I pray. That's all I need. I said, you know what? This is what I thought in my mind. You just described yourself as a Pharisee. Whether he believed it or not, but he just described himself as a Pharisee. In other words, he's saying, I'm paying tithes, I'm praying, and I'm coming to church. The Samaritan set at the altar and beat upon his breast and said, God, be merciful unto me, a sinner. And the Pharisee said, Lord, I fast twice a week. I pay my tithes. Hallelujah. I'm at church all the time. The one that was beaten on his breast was the one that God said okay to. The other one was self-righteousness. Are you hearing me? And, folk, I want to tell you something. It's not about paying your tithes. It's not about, listen, how much you pray or how much you fast. Hallelujah. You can do those things, listen, out of instinct, just doing them for a habit. Are you hearing me? But the motivation of the heart has got to be out of love. And somebody said amen. It's got to be motivated by love. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love and faith go hand in hand together. And somebody said amen and amen. But listen, Peter here is coming down hard on the false prophets, on the, on the teachers, and on the preachers. I believe it's time for preachers that know the truth to stand on the platform and preach truth. Amen. Now, I, don't, I realize we don't have a big audience like some platforms have. But there's some people out there that's got a platform that's speaking to thousands, hear me, that are on television, and they can stand up and say, man, this stuff is wrong. This stuff is wrong. We need to get back to the cross of Christ. We need to get back, hallelujah, to our first love and do our first works in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Somebody with a pulpit, listen, our platform that they can proclaim the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are to contend for the faith. Somebody say amen. We're to contend for the faith. People won't like you. Listen, but don't get pulled down to their level. You see, we're walking in the spirit, and they're walking in the carnality of the flesh. And what they want to do is pull you down to the carnality of the flesh. What we want to do is pull them up into the walk of the spirit. Hear me. Hallelujah. And some of the things that they might say, it will irritate you, and the devil will try to do things that cause you to lash out, to get into the, to get into the carnal, get into the, 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 the natural, are you hearing me? And that's where you get into the realm of, of, the, of the enemy of our soul is in the carnality of our, 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 our lives. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. We've got to stay put and stay anchored in the spirit. Hallelujah. And if they mock you, if they persecute you, if they speak things bad about you, hallelujah, get yourself in your prayer closet and say, God, Hallelujah, let there not be a seed or root of bitterness build up on the inside of me, but I pray for those that wag their tongue at me. I pray your anointing and blessing upon them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb. How many know it takes the Holy Ghost to do that, and it takes a person walking in the Spirit to do that? Can I tell you, your flesh don't want you to do that because it wants to get right down where they're at. But I refuse to get down where they're at because we're walking up here, hallelujah, in the spirit of the living God. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And you're always going to have carnal Christians. Always. Bless the Lord. But you're going to have those that want to walk by the spirit of God. And somebody said amen to that. Praise the Lord forevermore. But anyhow, listen. Paul, uh, Peter's addressing these, these uh, false prophets and teachers and evangelists and pastors, listen, that's 
running uh, 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 the, the, the roads, so to speak, back then, and they're running the roads today as well. And, uh, you know, it's the very same spirit, and it's a spirit of greed. Everybody say greed. Spirit of greed, in other words, money, 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 what motivates much of these preachers and evangelist teachers and what have you. Hallelujah. Peter called them spots, blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceiving. I underlined that. Hallelujah. Sporting themselves in their own deceiving. In other words, they're deceived themselves and think they're teaching truth. Hear me. They once used to walk the path of righteousness, but now a spirit, listen, of delusion, hear me, has entered in, and now they preach a lie and believe that lie. And it's hard to get a hold of people like that because people don't want to admit I'm wrong and God's right. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. But they sport themselves in their own deceivings and they live in, 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 in luxury bragging about how much I've got. And can I tell you something? How much they've got isn't enough. They want more and more and more and more and more. How many know, listen, an empty soul cannot be contained. You can't get enough of luxury, of money in an empty soul. But if you get filled up with Jesus, oh, my Lord, let me preach. Hallelujah. If you get filled up with Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He causes me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. In the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But anyhow, these bragging about how, how God has blessed them with thousands and oh, I've got these jets and I've got a home here and I've got a home in this, this uh, luxurious island or what have you. And I've got a home over here and I, you know, I've got a $20,000 dog house that's air conditioned and, and uh, you know, I, I, won't, I won't buy anything that, uh, any car or anything that don't cost over, over uh, 50 to Sixty, seventy thousand dollars I won't drive in some piece of junk. Now you stop and think of this a second. And that's what you see going on. And can I tell you something? You know what I call it? Showboating. A lot of showboating. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Praise God. Give us some John the Baptist, are you hearing me? That has clothes with camel hair. <laughs> and ate locust. <laughs> oh boy, his breath smelled good. But you know what? He preached the truth. I said, the man preached the truth. And listen, Israel, come out and listen to him. Hear me. Hallelujah. He preached a message of, of repentance. And the scribes and Pharisees come out. And, and he said, who warned you, you brood of vipers, to come out and, and, and get in my tank and get in the river and want me to baptize you? You bring forth fruits of repentance before I ever baptize you. That's just exactly what he said. Hallelujah. Yeah, I mean, he was a hard hitter. Are you hearing me? But I believe God is, is pulling his... John the Baptist out of the caves in this day and this hour bless the Lord to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. You've come to the kingdom for such a time as this, child of God. I said, you've come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Praise the Lord. These people, listen, understand, these, these, these prophets, these evangelists, understand something. They bring disgrace on the, the church of the living God. You know why? Because the sinner out there says every one of them is just like them. They're just like them. Can I tell you something? No, they aren't. When you got preachers standing behind the pulpit cussing, and it's on YouTube, hear me, cussing and people applauding, <laughs> something's wrong. I said, something's wrong with the preacher and something's wrong with the people. Hear me. Folk, I've been blamed for cussing, but it wasn't on camera. I had somebody tell me, to, you know, spread the rumor all around that, I, you know, I, I was cussing. And can I tell you something? I, I, I don't think I've ever said a cuss word since I've been saved, and I'm not trying to put a cap, feather in my cap. And I can't remember the last time that I said a cuss word because my mouth was so filthy and so rotten, God cleaned it up in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And I can't remember the, the last time that I've ever said a, a, a filthy word. But understand something. Some of these, these clouds without water, some of these, the, <laughs> these open sepulchers stand behind the pulpit 
and they're not embarrassed to cuss before the people because we're free. We're free. We're under grace. God has got us covered. Brother, I want to tell you something. You're free from sin and not to sin. Get that in your heart and in your mind. I said we're free from sin and not to sin. Bless God forevermore. And these that throw, that, 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 uh, throw out the judgment tag, you're judging me. That's like the, like the pot calling the skillet black. Well, they're judging you for judging them. Come on, church. Get away. They're judging you. I want to tell you something. The church better have a discerning and a judgment or you'll fall for anything. I'm getting sick and tired of this. You're judging me. You're ju and I want to tell you something. It'll come from your own family members. And brother, I'm telling you what, God has put a boldness inside of me and a bullheadedness, hallelujah, like a ram button heads with people. Hear me. I will not compromise and be brought down to their level. And somebody said amen today, man. I refuse in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, no matter what it costs in Jesus' name. I know what the word of God declares. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And brother, I'm telling you, when they're turning our churches into, uh, into nightclubs and nightclub scenes and, and turning the stages on to, uh, to like you're in Hollywood, hear me, something's wrong in the house of God. I've said it before, but listen, 15 years ago or 20 years ago, if they would do such a thing, they'd be tarred and feathered and thrown out the door. They'd say, and people would say, you're possessed of the devil. Understand something, folk. We're living in the end time church, which tells me one thing. I'm going to jump up and down and shout because Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. And because the word of God declares that there's going to be apostasy in the last day, wickedness that we've never seen before in the house of God. He said, lift up your head, church, for your redemption draweth nigh in the name of Jesus. Let them make fun of me. Let them wag their tongue at me, but I know who my I have believed and I am persuaded that he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. And this is the day, child of God, hallelujah to the Lamb, as we stand firm and anchored and steadfast upon the word of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Jesus and God's word has never changed. Man has changed and changed the church. And you know where the, the fault lies? It lies right there, the guy standing behind the pulpit. If the guy behind the pulpit's not saved, you're not going to have people saved in the house of God. Somebody say amen. amen. Brother, I'm telling you, listen, hallelujah. Hang on to your bootstraps. Bless God, Jesus is about ready to take us home. Hallelujah. He's having him a church. He's preparing him a bride. Bless the Lord. And he's cleansing it, purifying it, because they're allowing him to cleanse it and purify it to where we're more like Jesus in every way, in our conduct, in everything that we do, everything that we say. And can I tell you something? We're very keen in the spirit, and we can pick up and discern what is right and what is wrong. And when you see what is wrong, there's a holy anger that comes up on the inside of you. It's kind of like Jesus when he made a whip and, listen, literally through, over through the money changers, hear me, in the temple, bless the Lord, and then drove the people out of the church. He said, you've made my father's house a house of merchandise. Listen, and it's supposed to be a house of prayer. He cleansed it, what, two times when he first come and when he left, and he's going to cleanse it again before he comes and splits the eastern skies, and I'm a part of it. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Lay not up for your things on the face of the earth, hallelujah, but lay up in store, to put into the deposit box in heaven because it's going to pay you great dividends in the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But anyhow, these, uh, Peter says these are, uh, are, are uh, their spots and their blemishes. And according to God's word, they're under a curse. Hear me. They're 